In this video, I'm going to show you how you can adjust the timings. So for example, any text that you change is still readable when exported to video in Keynote. So once again, I've got um, a template open and I'm going to work with a copy. So I click File, Duplicate. I'm leaving the name as copy for the demonstration and I'm closing out the original template so I've got no danger of messing it up. So if you need to adjust any of the transitions or other timings, for example, if you've um, amended the text and you've played the slideshow through and you think that the viewer wouldn't have enough time to read the text properly before it disappeared off the screen, you can make some adjustments to the timings. So with the slide you're working on highlighted, make sure that your inspector is visible. Um, if it's not, you find it by clicking on this blue icon here. That's like an on-off button for the inspector. Okay, so let's say you want to make the transition from one slide to another a bit slower. You need to click on the second icon from the left, Slide Inspector, and make sure that this Transition tab is highlighted, not Appearance, Transition. And then you can see all the details of the transition the effect, the duration of the effect, um, when it wants to start and, you know, at what timing it's to start. So to keep the slide visible for a longer or shorter time, you can adjust the delay setting on the bottom right of the box. A longer delay obviously means that the slide stays longer before it transitions to the next one, and a shorter delay means the slide moves to the next one more quickly. So you just use these little arrow keys and it goes up in half second increments. And you can override this manually just by clicking on it. Say for example you wanted 2.2 to be precise and you can do it that way. Okay, I'm just going to put that edit undo and go back to what it was. Now, if you want to adjust the actual animations within the slide, you can do this by clicking on the third icon along, which is the Build Inspector. Okay, so you see Build In, Build Out, and Any Actions. So make sure that you click on the More Options button, and that will open the Build Draw. And that's where you see exactly what is going on with the transitions. Now, you can adjust the timings and the order of the animations uh, that we've put onto the slide, but just make sure that you know what you're doing because, I mean, we've put these in so they're ready-made templates for you. And if you're going to start changing everything up, well, really, you might as well start from scratch and create your own animations and effects. I mean, you can, of course, do what you like with it, um, but just make sure that you, you really know what you're doing and you're not working with an original template and saving over it. As long as you're working with a copy, you'll always have the original to go back to. So that's how you adjust the timings um, of the transitions and any animations in the Keynote templates.